Hillary Clinton was right. I wonder if Democrats stand by that standard today. Emergency in place in Ottawa where the police chief says COVID protests are a quote nationwide insurrection driven by madness. Just think of the language. I know it sounds familiar to you, right? A threat to democracy, a, an insurrection, sedition. I want to be clear, things have quieted down a bit, but that does not take away from the basic truck in, right? The sit in that's going in right in front of the national parliament. Uh, John, I, I also want to point Sitting senators, sitting at least one sitting governor are supporting these people from the United States. The police chief has a message for them. Don't. The, you are supporting unlawful behavior. Nope. Welcome back, everyone, especially to all my new subs. Make sure to leave a comment to let us know who you are. And while you're at it, hit that like button so more people can see this video. Oh, and by the way, the time to prepare for bad times is during good times. If you know a big storm is coming, you prepare in advance. The same goes for our nation's future. That's why I recommend stocking up on emergency food from My Patriot Supply. And right now, you can save $50 on a four-week emergency food kit. This kit provides breakfast, lunch, dinner, drinks, and snacks, totaling over 2,000 calories a day. Every family in America should have one of these, so go to preparewithdronetech.com and save $50 on your four-week food kit. Those of you who have been around a while know that I regularly remind viewers that the left and Democrats believe things like the only legitimate election is one that Democrats win, and the only legitimate scandal is one that involves their political opponents. And lastly, the only legitimate protest is one that's pushing a left-wing slash Democrat party agenda. It now appears that the media and government in Canada is using the exact same playbook as they continue to ruthlessly demonize what is clearly a large and peaceful protests. That does not involve any burning, looting, or violence at all, unlike the protected leftist protests that we've seen over the last couple years. When you're part of the trucker freedom protest, the Ottawa police chief treats you like this. There is no facilitation of food, water, fuel, logistics, or funding by any member of this police service or any other police service that I am aware of. Let me repeat. There is no supply of food, water, fuel, logistics, or anything else that relates to enabling this demonstration by any member of the Ottawa Police Service or any other police service that I am aware of. Should that information come to me, you can be clear, as Chief of Police in this service, I will conduct a full investigation. I will use the full extent of the Police Service Act and, if relevant, the criminal code to pursue charges against such a member who would do that. When you're part of a violent communist organization that's trying to burn down the system, you get treated like this. But I think this is important to show we're here peacefully working together and making something happen for a change. And it's a change that's well needed. And I, uh, you have your officers. Can we thank your officers and have them Absolutely, absolutely. Because I was just kidding. Kyle, Kyle, kidding. I was kidding when I said no. So I was just shaking his hand. Come on over, guys. He's really a good cop. Just think of the language. I know it sounds familiar to you, right? A threat to democracy, a, an insurrection, sedition. Unreal. Notice how the CNN propagandist acts as if Canada is on the brink of destruction and doesn't even flinch at calling these people insurrectionists, seditionists, or threats to democracy. Even going as far as to call this peaceful protest unlawful and even threatening people who would support them. should be able to see through this for what it is, right? I mean, it really reminds me of the early 2000s and anybody who would stand up to George W. Bush's policies and they would get accused of being with the terrorists. They've been doing the exact same thing here, of course, demonizing and attacking any protest that wasn't organized and for the left. And this has been going on since at least the Obama years when the Tea Party was constantly attacked and demonized. What John Boehner is gonna have to do is decide that he's not gonna be speaker in 2015 and work with the same crew that gave us the uh, opening up of government, uh, Nancy Pelosi's Democratic caucus, and uh, give or take 80 reasonable Republicans. 
protect the country from these people uh, who really, you've got to think, we take an oath to support the country against all well, enemies, see, foreign he, he, and domestic, and these are the domestic enemies. We all know that these exact same people had nothing but praise and nuance when it came to the violent left-wing protests that we've witnessed over the years. And even suggesting otherwise was called racist and even un-American. It sounds completely outlandish, but they're literally trying to outlaw political opposition, and that includes protesting their agenda. The only thing that we can really do is continue to point these things out and spread these videos and hopefully change more people's minds. That's all I have for this one. Please hit that like button to help the channel and then leave us a comment to let us know what you think.